I am on the road again. <laughs> That's what I so frequently am. I had a great day today. I, I worked today. I uh, worked on the Jimmy Kimmel show. And my episode will either air tonight or tomorrow. One person told me either tonight or tomorrow. And then someone else said definitely tomorrow. Um, so... I don't know. <laughs> you might have to watch both nights or if I can find it on on uh, on the web after the fact because I'm a cord, a cord cutter. So I don't get TV shows the day that they actually air. I get them the next day um, via Hulu or sometimes even a season later on Netflix. Anyway, um, any day I'm on set is a great day. I love what I do. I love when I get to apply my craft and it was a lot of fun. And I worked in a way that I hadn't worked before. Uh, I had a hard time coming up with a... Why is this on? I had a hard time coming up with my uh, uh, thing... My I don't know what you call it. The thing that I, I'm going to be grateful for today. Or the, the thing that I'm most grateful for today. Um, not because I don't have things to be grateful for, but because it was tough to name it. Let me explain it to you like this. Uh, I got the job. I didn't have to audition for it. They just called my rep and said, hey, is Nicole available? Uh, I was available to work today. And they sent me my information and, and, you know, here's where you park and everything. And I had I parked across the street from um, from where the show was taped. And I believe it's the El Capitan Theater. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. But I, it's it's... It's it's an on Hollywood. It's a stretch of Hollywood Boulevard where if you visit Hollywood, if you're a tourist, that's where you want to go. You see people dressed up as, you know, all sorts of cartoon characters. Um, there's the Hollywood and Highland Complex. There's what used to be the Kodak Theater, but is now the Dolby Theater. I mean, it's a that area is a big deal. The, the Wax Museum is there. And Ripley's Believe It or Not. And a whole bunch of stuff is there. So I parked across the street from the theater and uh, took the uh, escalator upstairs and walked out onto Hollywood Boulevard and I saw Jimmy Kimmel Live um, uh, the banners that are on the theater over there letting you know that that's where it tapes and I saw the long line of people waiting for the show and there was a tour bus in front of the theater uh, and a, a bunch of people were get, getting off the bus. That area is a big deal. And I just stopped for a moment and I took a picture and I took that in because, um, you know, when things things don't go as planned, um, if I'm not working as much as I would like to work, which very few people are, but I want to be one of the few. Um, I can get grumpy and grumbling uh, <laughs> and so that's what this 31 days of gratitude is about and this is day six and on day six today I just had to stop and look at that building with the Jimmy Kimmel Live banners on it and think to myself I know what it is today I am grateful for dreams come true dreams coming true. That's probably incorrect English, but you know what I'm saying. Dreams coming true, dreams that come true. I am grateful for that um, because I remember when I couldn't get on a lot. I remember when I wasn't in LA. I remember when I was wondering, is acting a viable career? Like, is this a real thing? I was doing theater in college. I... I went in as a Spanish major because I thought I wanted to be, be an interpreter slash translator. My junior year, I realized, eh, I don't think I want to do this. Uh, and I started taking classes, trying to figure out what else I could put with with Spanish to, to so that I could have a job. I took accounting classes. No, that's, that was not my thing. I took sociology, uh, social science classes, and... I realized that I would get burned out really fast from trying to help people, trying to help people, and, and just caring too much. And you really can't bring that stuff home with you. And I think I would. 
And uh, I, then I took a theater class and I said, oh, I kind of like this. And I took another one and I had people around me who encouraged me. And at that time, I thought I would be doing theater. I wasn't even really um, thinking, you know, film and TV. I just loved theater so much. And I stayed in school another year and a half so that I could uh, double major because I, I was already done with the requirements for my Spanish degree. Um, so I stayed in school another year and a half, got my bachelor's in theater arts as well. Today, I am grateful because I know where I came from. I came from wondering, do people, is this like, is this a real career? Like an actor? Like, it's, you know, that's like, that's what other people do. Yeah, I'd like to do it, but almost everybody would like to do it. A, 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 an actor or a rock star. <laughs> Something like that. It's one of those things that, um, like saying, oh, I think today I'll be queen. You know, it, it felt like that. But I had people who encouraged me. And I had people who, <laughs> who although they didn't understand, uh, they didn't disparage me uh, or discourage me. And I appreciate that because that was what I needed at the time because who knows, uh, I may have, if I had been surrounded by a different group of people, I might have just, uh, you know, thrown it by the wayside. Okay, yeah, it was fun, but now I need to go find a real career. And because I had those people in my life to encourage me, because I am uh, the stubborn uh person who perseveres. <laughs> I'm just built that way. And because I didn't stop, and because I'm blessed, I can't forget that, I have a career today. So, walking across Hollywood Boulevard, looking both ways, even though there was a light, <laughs> walking across Hollywood Boulevard, going to uh, the theater to tape Jimmy Kimmel Live in Hollywood, I really just had to pause and be grateful and think about what got me to that place. I played a mom, there were four of us, and we were told to arrive with our hair and makeup done. So, I don't know, hopefully I look all right because nobody put any powder on me or anything, and the only only mirror I saw was the little mirror in my, my compact, and it, it, you know, had like fingerprints on my fingerprints on it. So I hope I look, look okay on camera. I don't know. You know, nobody touched my hair and said, you know, I know it has a tendency to go lopsided. I think it's lopsided right now. It's Wednesday evening, May 6th. This is my sixth day of gratitude. And with that, I leave you. Well, not quite. Not quite. Uh, after I say that, I always think about more stuff that I have to tell you. I got so much to tell you. I actually have two videos that oh no there's traffic oh, I'm gonna have to get off I have two videos that I've recorded and I just need to edit them um, but now that I'm doing a video every day and I usually have to do a little bit of editing on these videos I don't think I'm gonna edit this one I think this, this one's okay I didn't say um 50, 11 times and you know I don't think I said anything anything uh, too embarrassing or incriminating or whatever I I struggle to find uh, find the the time to edit these other two that I've, I've shot I used to wonder when I would watch youtubers and they would say oh I found this video that I never put up I was like how you find a video like you recorded it and you forgot you recorded it yeah walk a mile in somebody's shoes and you figure it out real quick all right, y'all, I am gone for real now, and I will see you tomorrow, and at some point in the next few days, I'm going to try to get one of these videos up, maybe both of them, who knows, I'm a little ambitious, oh, here, look, can you see that, 
don't know if you can see that here. I don't want to run to this car in front of me. This is horrible to have on camera. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this bracelet. I'll put a link to it. I just made it. I'm so excited about these new bracelets that I just made. This one is lava rock, like from a volcano, um, and hematite, which is a semi-precious stone, and this really cool Indonesian bead. Uh, I'm going to put, it's it's up in the store already, it's called Hawaii, and I will put a link to it under this video, um, and then you can just go to my store and see if there's anything else that you like, and you can give me some feedback on, on uh, the new bracelets that I just made too. Alright, thumbs up y'all, thanks so much for watching, subscribe. And give me a holler. Say, hey, Nicole. <laughs> I like that. Okay. I will talk to you soon. Bye. -bye.